Okay, so as of right now, Flyers are losing 6-1 to the Penguins. Game before that, they lost 5-3 to the Islanders on Sunday night, and they are a very streaky team early on in the season. Um, they played very well in the first three games of the season, uh, playing Chicago and Prague, the home opener versus the Devils, and then starting the Western Canada road trip in Vancouver. Uh, they got five out of the six points in those three games and played well in Vancouver, even despite the 3-2 to shootout loss. Now, after that, they played in Calgary in Edmonton, and they lost uh, both of those games, finishing the road trip with 0-2-1, uh, uh, playing very bad in Calgary and really bad in Edmonton, uh, and then were just flat out very bad on home ice uh, versus Dallas. I lost 4-1 in that one. One of the perfect play in that game, and they just had nothing for Bishop. Then they played Vegas, Chicago again, and Columbus. They won three games in a row, and as I said, now they played they played the Islanders, and now tonight the Penguins, and they lost those two games. So very streaky team. Um, their goaltending for Carter Hart has not been good at all. Uh, he's as I said, he's been very good in the beginning of the season. He's played very well, and now he hasn't been good at all. He's does not look like himself. Uh, he just looks. Just, he just looks bad. There's re really nothing to it. He's just not playing good right now. Hopefully something can change with him. But another thing is with the goaltending is Brian Elliott has played very well. Uh, despite being pulled in tonight's game versus Pittsburgh, he's played well. He was the NHL third star of the week. He was 3-0 and in the four games that he played. Uh, in the fourth game, he had to get called into the game because of Carter Hart playing very poor against the Islanders. But... One thing that just annoys me with people who want to say that it's been the goaltending, the defense has not been good either. Gosses Bear has been the worst defenseman all year, and it's obvious. Besides scoring against Columbus, I think that might have been his worst game. Either that or when they played Calgary, because besides that besides that goal, Gosses Bear has really done nothing. Uh, he's been very poor, poor on defense, really hasn't done much on the power play. I pers personally think they should change that. Uh, first unit at least really only changed Goss's bear he doesn't really shoot the puck and which is something that we all wanted to see and he hasn't really done much of it um, and when he does he's he waits way too long on the power play that's his problem he waits too long the lane gets closed down and then it's either blocked or completely misses the net uh, the penalty kill has actually been good special teams have been pretty good um, that's really nothing bad the problem is, is just the team is streaky right now, and the defense hasn't helped them whatsoever. Um, I'm hoping the Flyers can sort of get out of this streak kind of slump, I guess you want to call it. Uh, they have not. They haven't played a consistent uh, game of hockey in these last, and really in this last month of the season. This has been the last game of October. They'll finish 500, 5 5 and 1. Um, there were some games that they should have won, yes. Uh, there probably were some games they should have lost as well. Uh, that Columbus game, they should not have won, even though they scored five in the third. But the Flyers just need to wake up a little bit right now. Uh, I've said this before on the podcast, that they need to stop letting teams in their division just win on them. And they cannot be letting all these goals in early in the period because it's just going to hurt them. And playing from behind is something you don't want to do in the NHL. So hopefully the Flyers can... can can get out of this streak. I'm hoping for a win a Friday night against New Jersey. Maybe continue that into Saturday versus Toronto. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you guys in the next one, and goodbye.